Hey, this is Eddie Muller. For uh, this week's cocktail, I'm doing something in honor of the movie that we're showing uh, this weekend on Noir Alley on TCM, which is called Fallen Angel. So very fittingly, I'm going to make a Fallen Angel cocktail, which uh, I got from the great uh, Patrick Gavin Duffy uh, classic cocktail manual. And this is how you do it. You make sure you have your uh, your Nick and Nora glasses iced up so they're good and chilled. You have a mixing glass with ice into which you are going to put a healthy dose, in this case, uh, two jiggers of gin. That's what I'm gonna, I, I do it this, this way. There's your two jiggers of gin into which you are going to place the juice of one lemon. Now this little lemon is quite small, but it's actually the perfect size for this recipe and it comes off my very own tree in my backyard. So it's, uh, it's been vetted for the job. So you squeeze the lemon right in there. And now this is where things get a little weird because this is probably, the next addition is probably the least noirish ingredient you could put in a cocktail. But for this one, it makes sense. I am adding a few dashes of creme de menthe. I know, that's just horrible. You would not catch Dana Andrews drinking this at all, but he probably would buy three or four of them for Stella, the character played by Linda Darnell in Fallen Angel, because these go down very easily, but pack quite a punch. So you're gonna put a few dashes of creme de menthe in there, depending on how colorful you want your drink to be and how minty you want it to be. Oop, I almost did this too early. Uh, to offset the sweetness of that, I'm going to put in a few drops of Angostura bitters to kind of take the edge off there. Then you swirl that around, and what you're going to get is a cocktail that's a very beautiful color. It's kind of a celadon is what I will call it. You, if you want it to be greener, you can put more creme de mint in there, but that's not the way I'm gonna do it. So now, here's the important part. This is where the recipe gets kind of complicated. <laughs> so now you strain that into this cocktail glass. Beautiful color. I'm gonna see if you can, I'm gonna show this to you up close. See if you can appreciate how nice that color is. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Then here's the kicker. You take your bar spoon and you have to have on hand a jar of these Luxardo Maraschino cherries. Except no substitute. Do not use those gross, sickly, sweet, disgusting cherries that you get uh, in fruitcakes and nonsense like that at Christmas. That stuff is horrible. So you want to take this. I know I'm, I only have the one camera here. I can't do an insert. But you want to take... Uh, hold one of these cherries up out of there on the edge of the jar with your bar spoon and put a nice long toothpick through it to drain off all the excess syrup because that's important. You don't want all that syrup in the drink because it's going to spoil the look and the color. And just see, I got a drop in there that bugs me. Then you push the cherry off into the drink and it should drop in there without any extraneous juice or anything contaminating the beautiful color of the cocktail. So wah, this is what you have when you're done. You have that. That is a fallen angel cocktail. And as I said, it goes down quite easily. Mmm. You know, that's not bad. That's not actually my style, but that is not bad. So be sure you check out Fallen Angel. Uh, this cocktail will not be in the movie. Uh, Danny Andrews is just gonna be drinking whiskey and Linda Darnell and Alice Faye, I don't, can't remember what they're drinking, uh, but, but everybody gets up to no good in this movie, except Alice Faye, of course. So check it out, Noir Alley, Saturday night at midnight Eastern time, 9, 9 p.m. Pacific, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific, and, you know, this will uh, raise your eyelids at 7 a.m. in the morning if you catch me then. Okay, cheers.